What if I told you the computer you're using right now is already obsolete? Not because it's slow, but because the laws of physics just changed. Right now, in late 2025, a quiet war is raging in the server rooms of Silicon Valley. On one side, you have Jensen Huang and NVIDIA. On the other, Sundar Pichai and Google DeepMind. They aren't just fighting for market share. They are betting trillions of dollars on a fusion of technology that was supposed to be science fiction until the 2040s. This is quantum AI. But here is the problem that almost killed this dream. Quantum computers are powerful, but they are incredibly stupid. They suffer from noise, a tiny change in temperature, a vibration, a stray photon, and the calculation fails. It's like trying to balance a pencil on its tip during an earthquake. For decades, physicists said this was the wall we couldn't break. But then, AI entered the chat. And what NVIDIA and Google just figured out changes everything. Let's start with the green team. NVIDIA realized something brilliant. Building a quantum computer is a nightmare. So Jensen Huang decided, why build one when you can just hallucinate one? They are using their massive H100 and Blackwell superchips to simulate quantum physics. It's called a digital twin. Before a real quantum computer ever runs a calculation, an AI simulates it perfectly inside a classical supercomputer. Why? Because AI needs to learn how to fix the errors before they happen. Think of it like a flight simulator. You don't put a pilot in a crashing plane to teach them. You put them in a simulation where they can crash a thousand times safely. NVIDIA's CUDA Q platform is doing exactly this. It's allowing AI to practice quantum error correction. On traditional hardware, getting ready for the day the real beasts come online. This is hybrid computing. The CPU, the GPU, and the QPU working as a triad. And it's forcing the entire industry to buy NVIDIA chips just to prepare for the quantum era. It's the ultimate business moat. But Google, Google isn't interested in just simulating it. They just announced a breakthrough that moves this from simulation to reality. Meet AlphaQubit, DeepMind's latest AI agent. Remember that noise problem? The shaking pencil? Alpha Qubit is an AI trained specifically to look at the noise and predict exactly how to fix it without destroying the data. In their recent tests, this AI reduced quantum errors by 30% compared to the best human methods. That might sound small, but in exponential computing, 30% is the difference between a toy and a weapon. Google is using a transformer model, the same architecture behind ChatGPT, to read the quantum state like a language. It learns the grammar of quantum errors. This creates a feedback loop. The quantum computer runs data. It makes errors. The AI fixes the errors. The computer runs faster. Then the AI learns from those new calculations and gets smarter. It is a self-improving machine. Google's Sycamore processor was just the start. With AlphaQubit, they aren't just building faster hardware. They are building a translator between the quantum realm and our world. So we have NVIDIA selling the training grounds and Google building the pilot. But what happens when these two technologies finally merge perfectly? That is when we hit the trillion dollar applications. First, forget about faster gaming. We are talking about simulating nature itself. Right now, discovering a new drug takes 10 years and billions of dollars because it's trial and error. With quantum AI, we simulate the molecule. We don't test it, we solve it. This means cures for Alzheimer's, personalized cancer treatments, seemingly overnight. Then there's the energy crisis. We've been stuck on lithium ion batteries for decades. Quantum AI could identify the materials for solid state batteries that charge in seconds and last weeks. This is the material science revolution. 
It's the reason NVIDIA is obsessed with digital twins. But there is a dark side to this infinite power. The encryption apocalypse, or what experts call Q-Day. Almost every secret on the internet, your bank details, state secrets, Bitcoin wallets, is protected by RSA encryption. It relies on math that is hard for normal computers. But for a quantum AI, that math is a warm-up exercise. This is why hackers are doing something terrifying right now. Harvest now, decrypt later. They are stealing encrypted data they can't read yet, waiting for the day Google or NVIDIA cracks the code. It's a ticking time bomb sitting in server farms all over the world. So who wins, the shield or the sword? NVIDIA and Google are racing to build post-quantum cryptography before the walls fall. It's the greatest arms race in human history, and it's happening silently. So, what's the verdict for 2025? We are no longer waiting for the future. We are currently simulating it. NVIDIA is building the gym. Google is training the athlete. And the first company to stabilize these qubits doesn't just become a trillion dollar company. They become the architects of reality. The question isn't if AI will solve quantum computing. The question is, will we be ready when it does? Make sure you're subscribed so you don't get left behind.